Education is a basic human right. Yet even prior to COVID-19, 250 million children and youth were out of school and 800 million adults were illiterate. Conflict, climate change, disasters, public health emergencies and the forced displacement of people within and across borders are affecting a growing number of people all over the world. In 2021, 235 million people were in need of humanitarian assistance and protection. Emergencies have a devastating impact on the right to education of millions of people. In 2019, 127 million primary and secondary school-aged children and young people living in crisis-affected countries were out of school. For the most marginalized, learners with disabilities, girls, and those from low-income households, among others, the impact is much greater. Despite this dire situation, education remains one of the most underfunded areas of humanitarian aid, receiving just 2.4% of total global humanitarian funding. A generation of children and young people living in emergencies are deprived not only of their human right to quality education, but also of the protection that education provides in these contexts. In emergencies, education may be the only safe space. This must change. Together, we can protect education in emergencies now. Solutions lie in the hands of governments. If we raise our voices and stand side by side as a global movement, we can make sure that the right to education is realized in emergency contexts. So together, we must call upon our governments to 1. Protect and guarantee the fulfillment of the right to education for all in emergency contexts by providing safe and accessible learning environments for all learners without any discrimination. 2. Develop and implement crisis-sensitive national education plans and budgets. 3. Listen to the voices of the people affected and local actors. 4. Ensure sufficient, sustainable and predictable funding for education in emergencies. 5. Promote equitable and sustainable inclusion in national education systems for refugees, asylum seekers, returnees, stateless and internally displaced persons. 6. Ensure that girls and women have equal opportunities to fulfill their right to education in emergency contexts. 7. Apply a perspective inclusive of learners with disabilities in the planning, budgeting and implementation of emergency responses. 8. Ensure the availability of adequately trained and remunerated teachers in emergency contexts. 9. Endorse and implement the Safe Schools Declaration and ensure that all learners and educators can learn and teach in safety. And 10. Promote transformative education psychosocial support and social and emotional learning approaches. Protect education in emergencies now. Visit our website to find out how to take action today.